Why do patients with nephrotic syndrome get blood clots? This mechanism is almost guaranteed to show up on your USMLE exams. So let's break it down. First, let me ask you a question. What defines nephrotic syndrome? Well, it is a protein loss that's greater than 3.5 grams per day. So the glomerular filtration barrier is wrecked in nephrotic syndrome, as you would know, and proteins leak out into the urine. So because of this, proteins like albumin are excreted into the urine, but also you will see smaller anticoagulant proteins which are excreted, and one of these is antithrombin-3. So if you are peeing out antithrombin-3, what happens to clot control? It's gone. Nothing is inhibiting thrombin anymore. Result is you get a hypercoagulable state. Now let's build the rest of the mechanism. Loss of protein leads to loss of oncotic pressure. Well, if oncotic pressure is low, the liver tries to compensate by making more proteins, including fibrinogen. So now your blood gets thicker because of fibrinogen, which means even more clot risk. So you've got two hits that happen in nephrotic syndrome. Number one is loss of antithrombin-3. Number two is overproduction of procoagulant proteins such as fibrinogen by the liver. Classic NBME vignette that you're going to get patient with leg swelling heavy protein urea now has sudden flank pain that's not renal colic that is renal vein thrombosis because of nephrotic syndrome if you pick kidney stone there you're in trouble that's going to be one of the differentials 